Hey beauties, welcome to the Imbali Beauty Salon channel. In this video, I'll be showing you a tutorial for the poly gel starter kit. Now this kit comes with three poly gels in pink, white and clear. Some slip solution. A poly gel clip. Now I'm not a big fan of using poly gel clips and I will show you why in this video. A poly gel brush and usually poly gel brushes come um, with one a spatula on one side and a gel brush on the other end. A 100 and 180 grit nail file. And some 100 piece reusable drew forms. In this video, I will be using the pink poly gel. So I'd start uh, with some nail preparation by pushing back the cuticles and filing on the 180 grit side any dead skin on the nail plate as well as removing the shine from the nails. So our next stage will be fitting some dual foams to the nails. Just make sure that the dual form fits the nail from end to end. And also, when you look at the nail at an angle, make sure that there is space between your nat the natural nail and the dual form. So this will allow the poly space for the poly gel to sit. You don't want to uh, take sizes where the dual form um, is in contact with the natural nail because you will find yourself with very thin nails. So once I've picked out the sizes, I will lay them out. And then to start off, I am gonna go in with the natural nail primer. So this ensures the durability of the, the nails and thus prevent the nails from lifting. I am going to go in with the rubber base coat. Now this is a very important step um, because the poly gel needs something to stick on. So you want to start off with the UV um, base coat before you lay your um, poly gel on the nails because if you do it without the base coat the nail would just lift right off then I'm going to cure that in the LED lamp for 60 seconds So when I do um, lay the poly gels, I haven't quite mastered um, the amount of poly gel that I need for each nail. So I would usually start off with a small bead and then just work it, work it into the dual form. And if I need any more, I can just squeeze out uh, the, the portion that I think I would need. And I usually pat um, the poly gel in, in place instead of brushing because I think that will give me a bit more control. So once I'm happy with that, I would lay um, gently the um, poly gel onto the nail and then brush off any um, excess poly gel that might squeeze out. And then I'd cure it in the LED lamp for 60 seconds. Or if you would prefer, um, you can flash cure the poly gel just so it stays in one place and doesn't move around. So you don't need to cure it for the entire 60 seconds. One thing I forgot um, to show is a very important step um, that you need to do before you 
um, cure your poly gel so here I'm just laying the poly gel onto the nail and then just gently flipping um, your hand and brushing the underside of uh, your nail to ensure that you have a smooth finish and that you don't have a gulp of poly gel um, under your nail so I've decided to use the nail clip again and on, on the middle finger uh, I hate the nail clip sometimes I get it right and other times I get it wrong and when I get it wrong uh, yeah the cleanup that comes afterwards is very annoying and I've got it wrong this time as you can see that the, the poly gel has squashed out and is all over her cuticles which is pretty annoying and I have to remove this and start over or try to lay uh, the poly gel on top to make up for such a thin nail. So I'm just doing the rest of the nails before I fix the middle finger. Make sure you uh, remember to brush the underside of the nail before curing. Once it's cured, you can just easily pop off the dual forms. Now, as you can see that this nail is super thin, so and it gets very difficult to clean off any poly gel on the cuticles with a nail file. So I decided to go in with my safety bit to clean off all the poly gel by her cuticles. And I, once I fixed um, this nail, I will go in with the shaping and filing with the nail file. So poly gel is quite easy to uh, file compared to acrylic. So I usually file it using the 180 grit side. And I file the top of the poly gel because I will uh, put top coat, um, but that stage is optional. But it's always better to put top coat because you will maintain the shine of the nails for a lot longer. And once I'm done buffing and shaping, I will go in again with um, my nail drill just to have nice crisp cuticles uh, yeah and to just file off any poly gel that might have squeezed out into the cuticles and then i will go with my intense seal top uv top, top coat and then i will cure that in the led lamp for 60 seconds then last step is go in with the cuticle oil and that's it it's so easy to use this kit and how to and to use poly gel nails you can obviously do this by yourself and that's it folks don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye